Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're down here on Winter Avenue, right off of Barrett Avenue at the Fish House and Cafe Beignet. Uh, it's kind of going to be a two for one review today because we get to do the Fish House and the Cafe Beignet. It's all in the same business. And I'll explain more about that later. But anyway, I kind of got, you know, we're down here in the Highlands. Kind of got that hippie vibe going today. Got my Surface Noise t-shirt, merch on. And for y'all out there that claim to be hippies, if y'all don't know nothing about Surface Noise, you ain't really no hippie. But anyway, we're going to go in and check out this food. So as I said, we're going to have a two for one today. Uh, the Cafe Beignet is open on the weekends, which you can get breakfast and beignets. And you can come on Saturdays from 8 to noon and on Sundays from 8 to 2. But on Saturdays, like we're here on a Saturday, you got that window from 11 to 2 where if you come here at 11, you can order the fish and you get the cafe beignet until noon. So this actually kind of reminds me of being in New Orleans at the French Quarter at the Cafe Du Monde. So yeah, as I said, we went to New Orleans Cafe Du Monde a year and a half ago on vacation. So let me go ahead and give this a try. Mm. There's one difference though between Cafe Beignet and Cafe Du Monde. These are actually better. Now for y'all that don't know what a beignet is, beignet is French pastry. It's hollow and it's smothered in powdered sugar or you can get the one that comes with the uh, cinnamon. These are delicious. Let me tell you folks, you can also get chicory, which is a big uh, popular item in New Orleans. Beignets, chicory, has that French influence, which you, you know, is the preserved uh, food influences down in Louisiana. And you know, here in Louisville, we don't even have to go all the way down to Louisiana to get it. We can just come right here to Cafe Beignet. Yes, sir. All right, we'll get back to you in a second and start in on the fish. All right, the fish is here. And uh, before I get into this, I gotta tell you something else because the best part has yet to come. All right, you know how you go to some of these fish places and you ask for extra tartar sauce and they nickel and dime you? Well, you don't get that here at the fish house. And this is one of the attractions of what brings me back here is they have the jalapeno tartar sauce. And you can get as much as you want. No extra charge whatsoever. All right, now I'm ready to dig in. You can see here, I got this fried scrod. I'm gonna try to dip it with some of this jalapeno tartar sauce. Mm. Good crispy breading. Looks like a cornmeal based breading. We got the onion rings. These are homemade. Very lightly breaded, I like that. Where you're not just tasting a bunch of breading, I'm gonna dip it in that tartar. Mm-hmm. Crunchy and good. Notice I got this malt vinegar. Got this malt vinegar here. Put it on my fries. Let me get these fries dry here. Cooked just right, crunchy. And I got a bowl of chowder. So let's take a look at this. Look at that, just chock full of clams and potatoes. I heard a lot of people talking on, uh, writing on the takeout site on Facebook, asking who's got the, well, they can get good chowder. Let me give this a try. Oh yeah. You don't have to look any further, Louisvillians. If you want good chowder, you gotta come try this out. And I gotta try the slaw. Mm. That's good creamy. 
sweetness to it. All right, everything is absolutely rock solid. Love everything I've tried. There's a reason that they've been in business for 30 years. You know, you can't serve anything that's not great and last for 30 years in the restaurant business. Mary, what did you think of your uh, beignets and your potato cakes? They were really good. And what did you think of your fish? I never tasted something so good before. Really? <laughs> well, let me try your macaroni and cheese. That's the only thing I haven't tried. No, you haven't tried my pancakes mm. or my hash browns. That's good flavor to it. Good cheesy. Plenty of plenty of zest in there. All right, that's that's about it for this review. And like I said, Louisville, get on down here, check it out right here in the middle of the Highlands. You're gonna love it. Take a little trip down to the French Quarter right here in the middle of Louisville. And if you haven't been here, y'all don't know nothing about this fish house and cafe beignet. All right, a little bonus clip here. I didn't, uh, forgot to tell about the homemade cocktail sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and dip that in there. Mmm. Also, one thing I didn't comment before, we got all this food, beignets, fish for the kid, it's got Melissa's fish dinner, pancakes and potato cakes, my onion rings fish dinner, chowder, all this for about $35. Now, where else in town you gonna go get all that food for 35 bucks? I don't think you're gonna go anywhere. So anyway, as I said, y'all don't know nothing about this fish house and cafe beignet. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.